Alright, so if y'all want to do another reaction to the conservative twins, I'm just trying to do as many reactions as I can until I come up with my own content so that way I can continue to have more things come on this channel and that way I can keep y'all in tune of what I'm doing. So, without further ado, we're going to react to this video. Black man explains the difference between blacks and niggas. So what for do? Let's see what he has to say. Let's see his take. Yeah, got a new show for y'all. A damn good show. I'm about to show y'all a video for my black philosopher. Yeah, he's <laughs> gonna. He says the quiet part out loud. He, he's gonna go down in history with the other great philosophers. Just out of Socrates. Uh, what's some more um, philosophers? Um, what's that white man? He's a great philosopher. Um, Mark Twain. He's a good one. I'm talking about Greek ones. Greek? Just Greek. philosophers. Or something like that. Europe. What? Whatever. Aristotle? Yeah. He was one too. How about Negro Damas? You heard him? Negro Damas? Negro Damas. That's a comedy sketch. <laughs> but anyway, this is what this black man has to say about black people. Niggas. <laughs> <laughs> this point in my life, I don't want to live where niggas live. I don't want my kids playing with niggas play mm. I don't want them going to school when niggas go to school and I damn sure don't want to go have fun anywhere near where niggas go to have fun <laughs> notice I'm using the word niggas and not black people believe it or not there's a difference I think I think everybody knows this they just don't say it yeah you know what I'm saying even black people know this. That said, all black people know like this. Like, there's a signs between a black person and a nigga. Like, a nigga, they don't know how to wear their pants right. That's that's one of the... You see a black man... Right? And down. He's no well, longer considered a black. A mer not mer no, I want, He's no. considered. No, no. I, no, I don't think so. Huh? A nigga. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of black people still sag a little bit. No, you got nigga tendencies. But... You're not a full blown one though. They got a they got a ring to it. Like, nigga Tennessee. You, you, you're a violent felon. <laughs> Vote Democrat regardless. <laughs> and just when you hear Trump's name, you just start rapping that dumb rap song. F Donald Trump. That that makes you Oh man, you gotta be more thorough. Yeah. Oh man. Now nah, it's yeah, not I, even I, about politics. It's, it's just, the way you talk. What? The way you talk. You can distinguish between a nigga and a black person. Uh, I would say it's between the niggas. A lot of them is low IQ. <laughs> Do you think that's why they're a nigga? Well, that, the reason why, well, let me say it like this. It's not that they got low IQ. They're just so damn ignorant. <laughs> it comes off like they got low IQ. They never, like, educated themselves. They never read a book. Oh, man, you got the same. Oh, hey, what's up with you, man? Saw, you know, you know, know what? So I don't know nothing. Hey, what's up with you, man? You know, oh, you go to college or you lame? High, more rich, you know more than more me. But we still have all, all the same opportunities. You just got to work harder for The nigga has not learned how to circumvent maneuver <laughs> around the obstacles. <laughs> the nigga will victimize himself. Bro, they make it seem like the nigga is like a breed of an animal, bro. I'm sorry. No, man. <laughs> man, we got AI. We got this is 2024. Oh, my you goodness. Still a nigga? No, man. You're not ignorant. You just I, you lack capacity. You built a bad hand. You lack brain cells. You can't help it. You need a disability check. You need every first of the month, you should get a nigga check. No, no I just think you fed in. The, the, the no, nigga, no, 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 no. The nigga fed into like this black subculture. <laughs> and they're just not educated. They're very ignorant. That's why they come off as low IQ. If you drive your car like this, bro. Oh, you know, oh my goodness. You can hear your music. Three blocks down. If you open the door yeah. for a man and he happens to be African American and he doesn't say thank you, that's a nigga. <laughs> you went around him as fast as you can. 
if you are if you working at a company and a black man walks in and you ask him, so why you want the job? Well, I need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a full blown hit. <laughs> in that conversation as soon as you can. <laughs> if he's been with if he's had if he's been with if he's got three baby mamas, that's a nigga. Mm, mm, you went mm. around him. Mm. Hey man, I came up with all kinds of examples. I like that one you said. If he's got a teardrop on his a teardrop up yeah, on his that, eye, that goes false. That is a oh, violent yeah. nigga. <laughs> Get yeah. around that nigga as soon <laughs> as possible. <laughs> if that nigga's sitting on the porch all day waiting for his welfare check, that is a nigga. <laughs> Dang. He's an example. If he's talk like Snoop Dogg, dressed like him, all his mannerisms like him, mm -hmm. that's a nigga from South Central. Mm -hmm. So you gotta say Snoop's a nigga? He ain't no. Yeah. <laughs> that's because you see him in a damn commercial selling beer and well, copy machines, he's well, still a nigga. Well, Snoop is a high class nigga. Well, yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> At least that nigga got some class. <laughs> yeah, he got class. Yeah, you give him a pass. Some of that white money that rubbed off on yeah, him. Yeah, he's a high class nigga. You gotta give him a pass. I'm talking about these broke ass niggas. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. If you sit on your porch and you see a, a car drive that road and you say, man, it's got a nice system in there. I'm gonna take his speakers. That's a nigga. If a cop comes to your door and you say, man, I, the neighbor, he's a witness, and then the cop goes in and, and asks him questions about a crime, and he says, no, I'm new snitch. That's a nigga. Move out of that neighborhood as fast as you can. Find you some nice parents to live around. Yep. Heck no. Nah. It's just, uh, yeah, um, yeah, what? Stop being a nigga. Let me say something. <laughs> See, the niggas. They make it hard for good us, us good, us good black folk. Yeah. So sorry for that. My phone had died, but we're gonna continue to react to it. Us good black folk. Yeah. They do, man. They do. They seriously do. Cause white people look at me and say, "Look, man, look, no, damn niggas here." They think we're all the same. Yeah, we not. Nope. We're not. No. I'm a good. I'm a good American. I'm a you, patriot. Like they, they, uh, like niggas say, "Oh, cops profiled me." Why do they profile black people? Niggas. Have you seen the FBI statistics? Yeah. That's why they treat you like that. Yeah. Like, they when, each other up. like when a cop <laughs> does something bad to a black person, what do black people do? All white cops are bad. Yeah. So y'all allowed to profile white police officers, but white police officers can't pro profile a bunch of violent ass niggas. <laughs> no, I think the FBI statistics. The double standard. Tell me what the statistics is. I'm a ten percent of the violent crime That's in this country. 50% of the violent crime in this country is committed by 6% of the population. Take a wild guess who that is. Niggas. You guessed it right. Niggas. That brings me to my point. The FBI need to update their statistics. Yeah. Yeah. You got white, you got Latino, you got uh, white Latino, whatever, whatever. You got black, then you got black, and then it should be niggas. Yeah. Right? We should, they shouldn't lump us with the black people. No, they, they, the, the, the statistics, it says, you know, majority of the violent crime in this country is committed by African-Americans. That's not, not true. Why do you say African-Americans? Ain't no african Well, black Americans. That's how you well, get it right. I'm not African. I'm not saying I'm African. That's just how Who I use term then? Shut up, you. You a nigga. Hey, look here. Look here. You act like I'm African-American. All right. Nigga that. ain't never been to Africa. I am not African-American. I need my reparations. Okay, then. That damn nigga shit is catchy. <laughs> hey, look here. Like I said, the FBI needs to um, change that statistics because statistics. Statistics. Well, put the extra S and T's in there. You said statistics. You took all the S's out. Well, you're making me down. I can't even tell you. <laughs> oh, you sound like a nigga. <laughs> statistics. <laughs> statistics. Yeah, look. Look at this, the uh, statistics, right? There you go. They say black Americans in this country come in. Jordan, violent crimes in this country. That's it. Oh, fifty percent, right? Yeah. That's not true. They lump us in with the niggas. <laughs> now, if the FBI go back, do that number scan, wait a minute. Oh, he just made a mess. Just black, just normal black guy made a mistake. Oh, that dude right there, that's a nigga right there. Put that in the nigga. This is his second murder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
You lump them in with the niggas. Yeah, 6% of the violent crime in this country is committed by Democrats. How much? Huh? How much? You said 6%? Yeah, it's, it's committed by... You said 6%. 50% of the violent crime in this country is committed by 6% of the... But I'm population. thinking about 6% of that 50% is a bunch of niggas doing all the crime. You see what I'm saying? You know what? I'm done talking about it. That black man is going down in history one of the greatest black philosophers. He's mm -hmm. going down with Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Nigga, we need a statue of you. I mean, that was a good kind of nigga. That black man, you going down in history. See, that nigga, you just catch up. <laughs> yeah, so that was our reaction. You know. There is a complete difference between blacks and, you know, niggas, even though the word nigga is a like swear word. It's like it's like a like you're cursing. When you say nigga, you call somebody nigga. Like, hey, what's up, nigga? You good? Like, you know. But I mean, yeah, you know what I mean it sounds all nice and stuff, but then when you really think about the name where it originated from, I mean white people used to no say to solve the puzzle Nick uh. huh yeah I'm not going to say it, you know I'm not going to say it but what black people did was just you know say you know what let's just add a little twist to it let's add a little bit twist let's kind of take the hard ER out and put the A at the end. Just add another G and then an A after that. So that's how the word nigga was born. But yeah, that was my reaction. All jokes aside, you know, it, it's sad the you know, black communities get to that point of no return. I mean, it's already at the point of no return. I mean, the only thing that can return it is, you know, I mean, in regards to like what's going on now, it's gotten worse, but some little, definitely some change in the government, you know, because it's going to continue to keep getting worse if we're still pampering to these dudes, or I'm just going to say it for the record, niggas to keep committing these crimes in a neighborhood, man, like, but something's gotta be done, you, you cannot continue to keep being this kind of way, and just, you know, you, you just, you just gonna sap on the wrist, go send no more, sap on the wrist, it's like you going to ask God for forgiveness, and you keep doing the same thing, or you know you're going to do the same thing afterward, and you just keep getting slapped on the wrist, when are you, when are they going to stop putting a slap on the wrist? And putting the handcuffs around their wrist. You get what I'm saying? Then that's when things will start to change. But until then, the black community is still gonna be chaos, you know. Nothing's gonna change. So that was my take on it and also my reaction. I'm gonna do more reactions to other things as well. I know I obviously I like the conservative twins a lot, but I'm gonna be doing reactions to other people and like i said i'm working on my own content along with reactions so that's why i haven't really been on a channel as much but i'm going to, uh, while i'm working on my ideas of videos that i'm gonna do like personally i'm gonna still be doing reactions as well and then you know i might do some random like raw videos like the you know talk about something that you know happened just like just a raw video unedited it might be in my car it might be here at home you know, just, just to talk, you know, about something that probably happened or just a thought that came to mind. If you enjoyed this video, get a like, comment, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this. But to the next one, J -O J. But to the next one, that's the, but to the next video, J-L-A-T-O, signing up. Later.